Mary Allen College uh, is a college that was established in 1886, and we have a museum now in Crockett, Texas, that houses the information concerning Mary Allen College. Mary Allen College was one of the oldest institutions that was established in Texas for women. Uh, it was for Negro women during that time, and it was first started through the Presbyterian Church that's here in Crockett, Texas. Uh, it was uh, Reverend Tinney who was instrumental in starting this, and the Allen family, uh, Mary Allen, that the school was named after her. And what the museum is doing is trying to keep the history alive about what has occurred and what has gone on. We are still working toward that, that entity of making Mary Allen College memorable and having people to be a part of that so the history can stay alive. We are inviting people to come to Crockett, Texas. Uh, the museum is located at 1503 South 4th Street and we are having a what you call a residence uh, artist that's going to be here to do artwork and bring in various programs as our activity director. So it's a lot of things that are happening for us and we're looking forward to what is going on knowing that uh, the history is rich and with the history being rich we know that it takes a community, it takes all the people together within our community to be able to keep this program going and keeping the people informed about the rich heritage and the historicity of Mary Allen College. But I'm going to have our mayor at this time to come and just say a word or two, whatever's on her heart. I know that she has great words to say. One, because I believe in what she believes in, and that's the one on my... Come on, mayor. We don't have a prepared speaker to say, to God be the glory. <laughs> For the great things that he has done and that he's going to do. And you know, my my part of it is that I've watched history. I've, I've always observed the building. My mother was went there for a while and she was so dedicated. She always managed to save something to send to Mary. <coughs> and she would always uh, just share with us how important education was, especially during that time for as, as uh, Jimmy had just mentioned, the African American as a whole, and especially for women during that time. And, and you know, it's just great to, lest we forget where we came from. And as I read the history over and over, it's just so amazing. But the even more so amazing is that God uses who you get things done. It, it, it's transcending race, color, creed. He just speaks people, lay it on their heart, and they get the job done. And I think if anything's more timely than at this point in time, is to recognize that we need to get, let the outward appearance, but they, they, they could, they, David almost missed his calling because they couldn't, he didn't look like what he should have been. And so we got, we always have to remember, whatever venture we go through, God looks at the heart, but man is still caught up on the outside. So don't worry about the outside when God deems it a, a, a mission. It's going to get accomplished because he does things well. So I'm just glad to be a part of it. I'm glad that it's in Crockett. I mean, Crockett is just being known. We did great things, and we're going to do even greater things. So mm -hmm. we're appreciative of all of the board and the president and all the board members and all of those because it takes time and it takes effort to do all above and beyond. So. For somebody that didn't have many words to say, thank you very much for inviting me. And I'm looking forward to the great things to come. Seven years ago, when I came to Crockett, one of the first places I looked for was Mary Allen College. You say, well, Why would you be looking for Mary Allen College? Well, 
it goes back to my youth, uh, being the son of a Baptist minister and pastor of the church in Orange, Texas. Uh, the black churches at that time supported Mary Allen College significantly. And I remember putting my nickels and dimes and quarters in the, in the offering basket to send funds to Mary Allen College as a young man. And so when I was offered the job to come to Crockett, hey, Mary Allen College, I need to see where that is. I never got to see it as a young person. So I went looking. Well, at that time, you know, it was under our ownership. And I crawled through the fence line and I walked up and I saw these eyes in the back. Well, it was cattle on the, on the land. Well, thank God, I was on. We were able to reacquire the property back. And, you know, some of those have passed on now that will be part of that. But uh, it's always been a part of me to see Mary Allen be recognized as a significant part of the history of this community. And I'm just happy, happy that I, in my little way, whatever we can do to help support that, we want to do that and support every aspect of Rocket Texas as a well. whole. I appreciate you giving me a chance to speak on that. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. Uh, we have also our superintendent here. Uh, we had an opportunity to meet with him and talk to him. and. Talk about partnership. Now I'm going to ask him, I know this is on the spot for you, but come on down and say something and just, just whatever's on your heart. Yeah, certainly on the spot. And I'm not quite as good as the mayor of just being able to get up and talk on the spot, but I'll do my best. But yeah, we had a, a lovely meeting the other day. And um, I, last year, I got invited to the banquet um, for the college and knew about it, but learned I didn't really know anything about it. And just amazing the history there. I was just telling the mayor and I told uh, Dr. Douglas the other day, um, I, I believe um, that this is not just history for Crockett, but this is something that needs to get out for the entire country. This, this was a big deal. Um, as the mayor alluded to, we were just talking and at that time in, in the country, educating women, period, was just not something that was done. And then to have a place that was not only educating women, but African American women at that time is just amazing to me to know that that was happening here. And, and uh, that, that word needs to get out. So very much support these efforts here and um, you know, proud that it's here in, in our hometown of Crockett. So. Thank you. In addition, we have, uh, I believe, Mr. Kevin Johnson here. And uh, I'm going to have him just to say a word for you. Come on, come on over here. Uh, by the way, uh, uh, Mr. Middleton is filming this for a TV production in Houston, Texas. Right. Well, hello everybody, uh, my name is Kevin Johnson. I'm uh, just so happy to be JP candidate for Preaching One here in Houston County for this election coming up. And uh, I'd just like to thank Dr. Dudley <laughs> and everybody that's on board with restoring the Mary Allen College. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, history, if you don't know where you came from, how can you know where you go? And so, I mean, Crockett is going somewhere, but it's up to us. I didn't say I, there's no I in team. There's no I in county. 